get to pick what goes into the stereo. Everybody knows the driver is the DJ, gets to pick the songs as you ride along. Everybody knows the driver is the DJ, I love this song, yeah, I love this song. How many of you guys, guys, don't lie, how many of you guys are still working on it? How many of you guys have no hope of ever getting it? Okay. <laughs> When I was in eighth grade, I wanted to be a rock and roll drummer. I wanted to be Alex Van Halen, the drummer for Van Halen. He had four bass drums and 27 toms and 800 cymbals. I never imagined in eighth grade that I'd be in a wrestling pit. But this is, this is some, somewhere along my dream. I'm here because, and I'm, that's why I'm here, because I want to share this with you. I want to tell you guys that I only had an eighth grade dream and I was somehow able to transform it into where I am now. And it doesn't matter what it is that your dream is, we're gonna figure that out. But what makes you feel good? What do you do right now in your life that you like? What would you do if nobody else was asking you to do it? What are you gonna do anyway? You might not know this, but you're a rock star. You're a rock star. Yeah, you are. You don't need an instrument to be a rock star. I wanna to go to your show. I don't know what your show's gonna be, and it may be, maybe like her show. <laughs> Like, I want to go, like, you're going to rock your show. You guys know you're going to rock your show. I've toured Europe, I've toured Australia. I've been very lucky. I've pointed my car in the direction that I wanted it to go. I made that happen. People helped me along the way, but I decided that. I drove the car in that direction. You hold the wheel, and you're going to drive the direction you want to go. Driver's the DJ. Bam! Kick down those doors. And I get to pick what goes into the stereo. Everybody knows the driver is the DJ. Picks a song as you ride along. Not only are you a rock star, but you're in a band. You're already in a band. Your family is a band. You guys have different roles to play. You play different instruments. You're a band. You and your roommates, you're a band. You guys are on tour together. If you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you're in a duo. I like basketball, but there's a reality there. I am never going to slam dunk a basketball. There are certain real limitations to my dream about being a pro basketball player. But here's the thing I can do. I can look at all the possible things that I can do to keep basketball in my life forever. And you can relate this to any career. You're gonna meet other people on this campus that like the same things you do, but you're not gonna meet them by staying in your room. You're gonna to have to go out there and meet them and form new bands. I've been in bands that break up and it's sad and it's a terrible thing, but you learn from it and you move on. If my high school girlfriend, Ashley, hadn't broken up with me, I wouldn't have my first CD. Breakups help build who you are. If the Beatles broke up and lived through it, and I lived through Ashley cheating on me with a high school football captain, you'll be okay too. Oh, I'll sing a song about it tonight. It's called <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's not really. I'm just kidding about that. I meet a lot of people on tour. I meet people all over the country. And I meet people that are into careers and in their lives and they look at me and they're like, hey man, that's awesome, man. You're living your dream, you're living the dream. You're living the dream, well, then why aren't they doing it too? At what point in their lives did they make a turn that took them away from what they wanted to do? What was the barrier? What kept them from doing that? You guys are here because you're rock stars at what you do. And the, and the best thing that you can do is honor yourself, is to do what you want to do, to be the best rock star that you're supposed to be. <laughs> Yeah. 